Hey, welcome back everybody. We are gonna do a little bit of a uh, torture test on some tent stakes. So, we bought these off Amazon, 12. They are uh, Y-beam tent stakes. The ultra light tent stakes, orange. They're aluminum alloy. These are gonna be a lot light. The tried and true MSR Groundhog. So you can pick these up anywhere from about two to three bucks. Uh, REI's got them right now listed at 2.95 per. So we're talking to get 10 of them, 30 bucks. You get 12 of these, same construction on the surface. They are about a quarter inch short. You can see there, you get 12 for nine bucks, 75 cents a piece. The question is, are they as tough as these? So these I use all the time. They withstand all sorts of crazy wind and rain. They stay in tundra, rock, sand. They're great and they're nice and light. So on the surface, what matters most is gonna be the weight. Get you zoomed in here, see if you can see the scale. All right. Zero out. Let's go metric today, just because these are so light. 15 grams for the MSR. And our Amazon. Woo! So we got a victory right there. So they are lighter, makes sense, right? They're shorter. But the question is gonna be, do we lose durability and strength? Oh, 12, even better. So we got three grams lighter. So right now they're winning in weight and in price. Let's just take a real quick durability, see how this is aluminum, right? Ah. Okay, pretty good. Well, these are definitely harder. So I can't drive that blade into that as far as I can the other one. So these are the two ones that we're gonna test today. I got a digital scale goes up to 600 pounds. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this scale. I'm gonna rig up a little bit of a contraption and we're gonna subject these to as much force as it takes to get one inch of deflection. And uh, even though that's not an app, it's not like a true application test, it's gonna give us a good insight into how much they actually will bend and how strong these two stakes are in comparison. Some of these other stakes, I've done a review on these in the past. There'll be a link below where you can see an article where I, I tested these three plus this one, the MSR. Uh, I didn't have these at the time. So you got MSR is the red, it's a Y-beam made of aluminum. Everybody knows these bad boys. Come with every tent you ever buy. Uh, these are garbage. These I thought were super cool. They're titanium, it's a V-spike. They got even high speed holes drilled out. That way it got even more weight shedded. <laughs> Probably got all about a tenth of a gram out of all that. These are definitely not as good as uh, the hype. So I think these came out to like $4 a piece. They're titanium, um, 12 grams. I mean, it's not even, it's the same weight as these. And we're talking five times more expensive. They're shorter, so obviously they're not gonna be able to be driven as far. Don't buy these. Vargo Titanium, highly disappointed. Those are out too. These little suckers are just a little bit of a V point. Um, you can see there, these are made by Hilleberg, the premium tent maker. They're light, they're 12 grams, so they, they come in just with these, but what I don't like is that you sacrifice some length. So this is 12 grams and if this holds up and can hold as much as our MSR Groundhog stake, which I've found to be the strongest uh, tent stake that you're gonna be using. I mean, you can use big steel spikes, but for the weight, right? That's really our big thing is weight. But these are, these are, good, these are good, um, good stakes, but they're spendy too, they're three bucks a piece. So my hopes and prayers are that this bad boy will performs as well as the MSR Groundhog. So let's get uh, this thing rigged up and 
get the torture test underway. So the first test, we're gonna drive these things in at a 45 degree angle. So it's like five, five below out the ground. It's February. Ground's been frozen since about uh, the end of October. So it's about as bomber of an anchor as we can get. We're gonna drive them in the same length. So we got about an inch till the uh, top of our anchor slots. We're driving these in, in the same fashion so that the vertical aspect of the Y is pointing away from our anchor. Yeah, these are solid. So like I said, we're gonna crank on these, uh, on these stakes with a come along and a gauge. My hope is that they start moving under 660 pounds. That's the max of that scale we got. I'd be blown away if they hold over that. But uh, we'll get this thing rigged up and then uh, we'll get started. All right, we got the camera, boom, right there, rigged. We got the other camera over here on the scale. I guess you'll be able to see both right here. So this first one's gonna be our Amazon Special. So we're gonna crank this thing up. It's come along rigged. Okay, we're gonna see what we got. see that that sucker broke right off dang I was not expecting that all right so that one failed right out the gate and the gauge I got a good reading it said 10 pounds which that can't be right so we're gonna change instead of just going until deflection because I think they're both gonna break since we're anchored in essentially concrete it's frozen ground we're gonna drive it in I'm gonna watch the scale we're not gonna worry about measuring deflection and we are just gonna go until they fail and see which one uh, which one outperforms. So we'll redrive another one of these in here. Good thing these are 75 cents a piece. We're gonna be freaking shredding these things. So the head of that one's bending as we're driving it in. Okay. Let's start over. We got it anchored. All right, so we got some tension on it. We're at 25 pounds, and we are gonna let this thing go until it fails. I'm gonna try and capture our weight here. 81. All right, so there we go, failure. I think we're north of 100 pounds there. All right, so you can see there, we do indeed have failure. She broke, highest reading, 108 pounds. So, let's move on to the groundhog. Any takers? 128. All right, so let's get this thing reset. If you saw how I rigged that up, I just used a, uh, a butterfly knot that's gonna be on our anchor down there and then a directional eight. 
is making uh, the final connection here. And that's what we're pulling on here with our with our come along. Okay. Activated click. Okay. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Ninety felt something give. Two hundred and thirty. Oh, two ninety nine. We're going. Oh, geez. I don't even know where that went. Yeah. All right, well it broke off. Hit me in the head. <laughs> All right. Well, there we prove it. That one was at 298. I saw. Let's see if we can find it. All right. So there we have it. We got uh, two stakes. Both tested them both till failure. They both broke, snapped off right there. We had them driven in the same way. This one pulled out and then finally snapped. Um, but there we have it. So, uh, well, let's go inside and take a closer look. All right. Well, let's figure out what we learned here. So we got our two remnants. I'm not gonna dig out the stumps. Uh, they're <laughs> buried well below grade in frozen soil. So we'll fish those out when it's a warmer day, come May. So uh, just first look here, right? Now that we got a good cross-sectional look at these two, the MSR Groundhog, the red one there on the left, it's obviously or got, obviously, sorry, mouth is a little cold, about five below. It's obviously thicker. Um, how much? Well, let's find out. So these guys down at the base, we got oh, 46 thou. All right, and these ones are, uh, we'll call it 70 thou. So that's where we get our weight difference, right? So the MSR has got thicker walls. It's overall more robust aluminum and our cheap Amazon steak, thinner and lighter. Now the question is, does the test results really matter? These are 75 cents a piece. These are $3 a piece. Is a tent stake ever gonna be subjected to the amount of stress that we just put it under? The MSR failed. Sorry, I wasn't able to show you guys the video. It looked, uh, it just, there's glare and I couldn't keep the, the gauge straight there at the end of the video. But it peaked at 301 pounds. These peaked at 139, is what the video said. Um, so, I mean, that's a big difference. This one's twice as strong, but is 139 pounds enough force that this is gonna be usable when you're tenting, when you're camping? Um, yes, it will be. What matters, right, I think, is that the construction of them is gonna lend itself to gripping into the soil. Um, man, maybe we'll have to come up with a way to test this in the real world wind tunnel um it'd be really interesting to see how much force is actually imparted on a tent stake say in 40 mile an hour winds um or higher i mean we can wait for a windy day i think that'd make for a good video figure out a way to rig up maybe like a sail or maybe even the ultralight tarp that i make which you guys can check the video out right up here there's a link um and we can try to use that scale or some other sort of sensor and actually see what how much force is being imparted to a single stake into a broad wind so we'll save that one for the future but the moral of the story is um i'd buy these and i'd run them uh they're 75 cents a piece they're lighter and in all reality 139 pounds till failure is more than enough strength um 
We'll have to do some more testing in real world application, but as far as a torture tests where we went to failure, these performed mighty fine. These work great. Unquestionable, these work every time. $3 a piece. The savings is, you know, four times the savings when you purchase the ones on Amazon. Uh, but overall, eh, I think they'll do the trick. And for the price, when you lose them, you're not crying. They're not $3. So if you guys like uh, more videos like this, leave some comments below. I'd love to hear your recommendations on ultralight tent stakes, what you use. And um, man, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps a lot to uh, promote our channel and keep our content at the top of the feed. And uh, man, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one.